Welcome to this remote control quick tip. This is one of those quick tips that I keep meaning to make and I've had another USB cable that has finally given up the ghost, so I want to share it with you. Now, in the hobby, traditionally, the way that you get five volts to power all your bits and pieces while you're doing the setup, to maybe power a receiver while you're doing the binding, or to power something like a servo tester, is I tend to recommend that you get something like a little battery illuminated circuit and you have it with a battery connector on one end and a servo connector on the other and that way if you need 5 volts to maybe bind a receiver to a radio or to power something like this servo checker then you've got that 5 volts on tap using a battery. But the cool thing about a USB adapter is that it actually runs at 5 volts, and that's why we can power flight controllers and other bits from it as well. So if you have a cable like this that's finally given up the ghost, and this is one of those kind of uh, micro USB cables, and uh, as usual I've managed to catch the end of it, so it's been charging a Galaxy tablet, but it's finally give up. This will provide a lovely 5 volt supply. And not only can you use it with something like a wall charger, and again this will work with USB wall chargers that provide 5 volts, it'll also work with things like these little battery packs where you can plug the cable into the battery pack, power it on, and you've got the 5 volts that you need for powering everything. Now to actually adapt the end of this so it's going to work is pretty straightforward. What we have to do is first of all cut off the end and expose the four wires that should be in here. And a USB cable will have those four wires which are, you can think of them like the normal four connections that we tend to get in the hobby, a ground plus five volts and a transmit and receive pair. So let me just clip the end off this, strip it back, we'll come back and we'll have a look and I'll show you how to very quickly test that you've found the two wires that you need. So we have pulled the ends apart here. Now this is quite a decent quality cable, so we have like an armoring RF shield bit, we have some internal foil as well. We have a red one that should be 5 volts, we have a black one that should be ground, and our two signal wires as well. This time, in this cable, it's white and green. That's pretty typical, to be honest, of what you'll find in these things. Now, I've got a voltmeter ready to measure the voltage out of that black and red wire. We've got the other end of the cable plugged into the battery power pack. And before I turn the battery power pack USB thingy on, double check that you have lots of room between the black and the red wires. Because if you turn it on and they're touching, that's going to be an electrical short and things will get excited. So let me turn the output on, put the prongs on those leads, and you can see we've got exactly 5.17 volts coming out of that. That is perfect for all the 5 volt electronics like servos, receivers, all that kind of goodness that we need to play with in the hobby. So now we know that's the case, then I'm going to cut the rest of this off, being careful to make sure that nothing is touching, and then what we'll do is we will put a couple of servo pins on these two cables, and we'll put them into a servo housing. So let me stop the video, go away and do that, we'll come back and have a look, and I'll kind of explain how you can use this little trick to power everything. So here we have the end of that cable made off. What I've done is I've just crimped a couple of pins, popped it into a servo connector. I've also put a little bit of heat shrink over the end just to keep it nice and neat. And now we can use this cable with any USB output to provide five volts into something that we need to set up. So for example, if we can plug it into the servo tester. If I plug the other end into the battery thing, press the button to start the power. There we are, we now have 5 volts that we can use to run something like this. Or, if we want to, we can also power things like little flight controllers as well. So let me just quickly plug that into that, making sure we're observing polarity. And there we have our little flight controller running too. So just wanted to share this tip with you. Normally the way it tends to work is uh, historically you'd use something like a battery illuminated circuit and you'd use that with a 2S or a 3S battery pack and you'd do all that stuff to get your 5 volts on the bench to do all your setup. If you have a damaged broken USB cable that you can do this to or you have something like a 5 volt USB charger that the end's given up on as well this is a really cute, easy, cheap way to make sure that you've always got 5 volts on tap for your setups.
Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.